So in this example, we'll see for loops in uh, two dimension. So the example that we are taking here uh, is uh, uh, printing this sequence. So we have few rows and few columns, but you see that few of the values are missing. So the last example that we have taken uh, was uh, to print entirely in a block. But now we want to uh, control something and we want to limit uh, the the writing process. So for the first row, we need to write in one column only. For second, we need to write in two columns and so on and so forth. We need to make a, uh, you can say a triangle like structure. So we can have uh, different shapes that we can create or control using uh, uh, the logic that we put on. So let us uh, go through these one by one and then uh, you will be able to understand the concepts of for loop uh, by these examples only. So let us try to replicate this. If we have such uh, structure, first of all, you need to either decide whether you want to iterate through rows first or columns first. We can do either way. It doesn't um, uh, it's it's not a hard code or a rule that you always need to go row first and then column first. So we'll see um, both ways. So let us say I take uh, rows first. So I can say for row starts from one to since I can, uh, I know that my I need to write in all the five rows, so I'm iterating through all the five rows. So for row equals one to five, one by one it will be uh, moving from uh, first row and move towards the last row. But when I'm on first row, I want to uh, write in uh, first column only. But when I'm on second row, I need to write in two columns. For third row, I need to write in three columns. So you can say that I need to control the column logic to a certain level. So column numbers, you can say it is always starting for all the rows. It is starting from one, but it is not ending for, uh, I mean, for first row, it is not ending at five. For second row also, it is not ending at five. But for fifth row, it is ending at five. Begin point is same. It is always starting from one, but ending point is not same. So we can say that column number always start from one for every row, but it is not ending at uh, five. It is ending at uh, the row number level. So for first row up to one, for second row up to two. So this is a variable which is being controlled by the row number. So that's why uh, ending point we have taken as R. I'm closing the inner loop. So cells R comma C dot value equals one. So now let's run this. Now you see that when it, uh, we move inside the first one, so it is uh, going to write for first row. And when we say that R is one, so column value would be uh, from one to one. This inner loop will run only one time and it will print the value in one comma one and the value would be one. It will move out of the loop. The value of R would get incremented by one so R would become two. The column value again uh, iterate from one to two this time because R is two. So one to two, that means this statement inside this inner loop will be executed two times. The value of R, uh, you know, it is two. Column is initially one. So two comma one is one. And then two comma two is one. It moves out of the loop. The value of R becomes three. That means we are going to write for third row and from one to three. That means for three columns, one by one. So three comma one, three comma two, three comma three. Four comma one, four comma two, four comma three, four comma four. It moves out. And similarly for the fifth row. So that's how once it finishes uh, with all the rows, it will move out of the loop. Now, this was one example. Now, let's say uh, here in this example, we were writing only a constant value all the times. But now I don't want to print a constant value. Rather, I want to print something else. Let's say I want to write 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, you see here uh, the value is not same throughout, but for the first column, value remains 1, for the second column, value remains 2, for the third column, value remains 3, and so on and so forth. Irrespective of uh, other cells which we are not going to print, see we have already controlled that thing here, that we do not want to touch this cell. But you know, wherever we are writing, 
we are printing the value which is equal to the column number. So instead of one, just put the column index and this code will be writing one, one, two, one, two, three, this like structure. Suppose you want to print English alphabets A, A, B, A, B, C like this. So you just need to uh, put the sky value uh, character here. So you can see here if it is A for all these that means you are going to use 65 as sky value for this if it is B you are using 66 as a sky value and then 67, 68 and 69. So same logic but you can use 64 plus column because first time it is first column so it would be 65 second time it would be second column 64 plus C would be 66 but you don't need the sky value rather you want to print the character code corresponding to it. So when you run it it will be printing it's CHR not CHAR. So it will be printing that sequence. Now when I want to run it for 10 times I can easily run and you can see the same structure would get replicated. Now since in this example we have uh, uh, taken row counter first and then inner loop is for columns just reverse the case let's say you want to control columns first. So we can do it uh, that way also. Now we take columns since we are going to iterate through all the columns so for column starts from 1 to 5. Now when we are on first column we need to write in all the rows. When we are on second column we need to write in second, third, fourth and fifth. When we are on third column we need to write in third, fourth and fifth and so on and so forth. So in this example we need to control the rows. And always the starting point of rows is changing. Ending point is same. It is always 5. So for first column it is 1 to 5, for second 2 to 5 and then 3 to 5, 4 to 5 and then 5 to 5. That means row is starting from column to 5. So when C is 1, 1 to 5. When C is 2, 2 to 5 and so on and so forth. So cells R comma C again same thing dot value equals if you want to print a constant value you can use 1 or any constant value. If you want to uh, have 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, you will again see that uh, if you want something like this, in that case you will see that for first column it is always 1, for second column it is always 2. So you will put C here, so exactly equal to column value, so we'll, you will get this sequence, right? And if you put R, that means uh, for first row you want to print 1 only, for second row you want to pr uh, print only 2 as a value, for third row you want to print 3 as a value, 4 as a value and then 5 as a value. You just need to figure out the relation between value in terms of rows and columns and that's what uh, the formula that we need to put here. Let's say you need to print 1, 1, 3, 1, 3, 5. 1, 3, 5, 7 and 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Now this is a bit tricky. You need to uh, analyze something here. You know that uh, here the column number is 1, the values are 1. So C we can write easily but this thing will work only for first column. For the second column value is not equal to C. It is 3 but column number is 2. Here also it is not true. Column number is 3, the value is 5. But you know that uh, one thing, when we are in column 1, the values are not changing row wise, value remains same. When we are on second row, values are not changing according to rows, it remains same. Values are only changing when we change the column number. So that means there is a relation between value and column number. Now we need to figure out the value. When we have 1 as a value anywhere, we are on column 1. When we have uh, 3 as a value, we are on column 2. When we have 5 as a value, we are talking about column 3. When we have 7 as a value, we are talking about column 4. And when we have 9 as a value, we are talking about column 5. 
So this is the relation that we need to develop. We need to find the formula of V in terms of C. So it is not uh, equal to C. It is C equal to C only for first. But when we use twice of column minus 1, so we get 1 for this. That means twice of 1 minus 1 is 1. And similarly for second column, twice of 2 minus 1 is 3. And then twice of 3 minus 1 is 5. So this logic works for all. So that is the formula that we need to put here. Twice of column minus 1. So now if we run it, you will see it prints 13579. So that's how uh, you deal with it. Uh, there are five things that you need to take care. One is the starting point of column. One is ending point of column. One is starting point of row. One is ending point of uh, row. And the fifth is the formula V in terms of row and column. That will help you in creating any type of uh, structure in two dimensions. Thank you.